all right everybody welcome to another episode of unique adventures so this weekend we're out doing uh camping we're out trying to do some new experiences if you can't see behind me here typically i would have a 30 foot jayco travel trailer behind me um in tow wherever we're gonna go but uh yeah, there's no trailer back there this weekend. We are actually uh, diversifying our camping experience, at least that's what I wanna call it anyway. Uh, we have got a bunch of gear here in the back. We're doing some tent camping this weekend. We're getting a little off grid. We're doing a little, I don't really wanna call it completely like overlanding cause you know, my rig is not set up to do that, but we're gonna be doing some backwoods camping with uh, no amenities, no nothing. It's pretty much run what you brung. Uh, and we don't have a lot of stuff. Like I said, we tent, we don't tent camp. We, we camp in a trailer, um, but this is something that we've been wanting to explore, something that we wanna get a taste of, and we're gonna bring you guys along. We are heading out towards Packwood, uh, we were going to try to go on the Skate Creek Road, um, which is out in Ashford, between Ashford and Packwood. Uh, I already had a scout out there looking at it, and uh, no dice, it's already completely jammed up and full. Was full. This is Friday. Uh, it was full around lunchtime, like 12, 1 o'clock. All the good spots were already taken. So we're improvising, you know, that's kind of what you got to do when you're, you know, going off grid and you're kind of, you know, doing some backwoods for service road camping. So we don't know where we're going to end up. Hopefully in the video title, you're going to know where we end up. But as of right now, we have no idea. So I guess that's half the fun of doing this type of camping. So we're going to meet up with everybody in Packwood and then we are going to uh, figure out uh, where we're going to try and stay for the night. So let's go ahead and head to Packwood. So we are continuing on our journey. We just picked up the rest of our crew that is coming out with us this weekend in Packwood. Uh, so we, we stopped there and one of the cool things I love about Packwood, uh, it's a very eclectic town, um, but you get to see a lot of wildlife come through the town and they're really famous for their elk coming through and as you can see right here just we we're sitting here at the gas station and this herd of elk were just sitting there just hanging out you know in the um lodges uh you know grass area right next door which was really amazing uh so definitely a cool perk about you know going through packwood getting to see that but we've got our bearings. We know where we're going. We're going right outside of Packwood. I am not going to disclose which Forest Service Road we are going up. Uh, this is a spot that was shared to us. So I'm gonna respect uh, the that person giving us that intel. But we're gonna take you along. We're gonna show you uh, first, uh, first trip ever uh, getting to do, uh, you know, this, uh, real camping stuff so let's go ahead and uh, get to this forest service road and see if we can make it to an amazing place That was out of control. What? I didn't think I was gonna make it a couple times. I had to put it in four. Yeah, baby. Two wheel got me here, sucker. Oh my gosh. I'm not There's sure. There's a little tuck-in spot over here. There's a little tuck-in spot over here. Is this, you think this is exactly what he had in mind? 
I talked to him on the way up, and he said, you can go straight. He goes, if you go straight, there's a payoff. I go, what's that? He goes, there's a trailhead and there's a waterfall up there. All right, so looks like we overshot our uh, projection. We now know where our intel told us where to go. We just gotta go back down. We made it all the way to the top of this forest service road up to a trailhead and it was a little dicey there. We did have to put it in four uh, to get up this last little bit, but we're gonna go down. We know exactly where we're going now. Uh, it's great area up here. So let's go ahead and get down to uh, this, uh, this place where we're gonna hang out. All right, we've made it. We are done for the night. Don't go telling everybody where the secret spot is. Oh, we're not telling everybody where we're at. We're just showing you where we're at. So we found this little opening area here. We had two spots we could have done. Uh, this one gives this little shale kind of wall here, face here, which is pretty cool. And uh, we got that there. Nice little opening. We're going to set up everything in the truck um, for the tent tonight. We're gonna do that here in a minute. Uh, we're gonna try to show you what it looks like with everything all set up, uh, depending on how much light we have left because it is, uh, it's getting dark. We uh, definitely spent more time than we thought uh, trying to get up here and do the thing, but we, uh, we got up here. Brent's in the back of his van organizing the earthquake that just went through from that road we just went on. Uh, but half of uh, the, the lure of doing this type of camping is getting to get out and adventure and getting to you know, see things and have challenges getting to where you need to go. And that, that's really cool. So we found this little nugget of a spot here. We're gonna set up camp and then we'll try to catch back up with you guys here in a little bit. All right, good morning, everybody. We are getting up, getting moving here. The truck tent did uh, pretty awesome last night. Uh, not a lot of issues with it. A uh, new sleeping bag. We're gonna have to work some kinks out in that. It got a little bit colder than we thought it was gonna be last night, but it wasn't bad. Slept pretty good, had an extra blanket, so, you know, it worked out, but we're going to get after some breakfast here in just a second. Uh, I think we're going to boil up some water here and find one of these little instant meal things that we got going on and try that out. We haven't, you know, tried out our jet boil operation yet. So wanted to show you kind of what we're working with here. So we got the Napier Backroads truck tent. And right now we got our sleeping bag and we got a smaller twin mattress in there. We'll upgrade to a bigger mattress uh, as we go. This is just one that we had, so. And then we just had the, the blanket and the sleeping bag last night and it actually did pretty good. Um, the cool thing that I did find out last night is when I hit my, uh, my open my door button the little light that's right on the back of the window back here actually lights the the tent up actually pretty well so that was pretty cool Brent's still sleeping here enjoying this cliff-like edge rock face thing here it uh, 
provided uh, some great landscape. We just hung out today, had a great time. The truck tent did what it was supposed to do. It kept me dry. Uh, we're definitely gonna have to work on the bedding and stuff on the inside and get that dialed in a little bit more because it was still a little bit cold. I didn't bring a couple of things like an extra blanket and maybe need to bring some more stuff there. But uh, first uh, boondocking trip here actually went really good. Uh, we got to use our jet boil a little bit, got to do a little bit of that stuff. But we are stoked to get to provide you guys with some diversified camping here. This is going to be in our repertoire. We're not sure how many more times this year we're going to get this thing out. But definitely getting this first shakedown trip was really good. Uh, we learned a lot so that we can improve the next time we get to come out. Uh, but yeah, this truck bed tent, it's, uh, it's going to be a game changer for us. We're going to be able to do some more stuff. So make sure if you haven't yet hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Make sure you are notified when we all of a sudden do some overland backwoods camping out of the back of a truck. Because you know that stuff happens. Uh, so definitely stay tuned for that. And, then and until then, we'll see you guys in the next adventure.